Hey everyone, today I will be going over my preview for 8th ranked Miami and 25th ranked LSU. This is one of the bigger games of this weekend and it is taking place on Sunday night. So this is going to be your Sunday night game for this weekend. And it's really going to be a good one. I'm looking forward to it. Two great defenses, two great teams from last season going up in week one. It's going to be a fun one. It is going to be at 6.30 p.m. Central Time in Arlington, Texas at the AT&T Center. So it is in a neutral location, so don't think that LSU is at home in this one. The spread right now has Miami winning it by 3.5 points, so it's, that's expected to be pretty close. ESPN FPI is expecting it to be more sided towards Miami. They have them with a 65.7% chance of winning it. Meanwhile, in Las Vegas, very, very different story down there as they have LSU Winning it by actually a hefty amount, 32.2 to 24.2. Those are averages of what people have bet, by the way. I had someone asking me the other night um, what website that is from. That is in the comments below. But anyway, weather is looking pretty warm, 90 degrees and sunny with eh, some winds. Not too bad, though. Not too much to really affect the game very much. Here's that comparison. Now, this... This probably is why Vegas is really favoring LSU in this game. Um, but really though, my because look at Miami. They've this is 2017 stats, by the way. So you're gonna see LSU by far having some better stats. They were they were a great team last season. Miami though, they're down in five areas of these stats. Their total offense 50 is ranked 52nd. Meanwhile, LSU is not too far ahead by 48th. Rushing offense, LSU has a much had a they had a much better one. Um, I think they they still should, but they they are they are ranked 29th. Meanwhile, Miami's at 63rd. Meanwhile, passing that's Miami's one strength. With they're ranked 51st, and LSU is 82nd. So all on all on defense, LSU is a great defense. Ranked between 12th and 24th for all of their positions. Meanwhile, Miami's close; in, they're like in the 40s to 50. Um, but yeah, really, I do think these things are going to change. LSU lost quite a few players last year. I mean, Ed Orgeron. I don't know if he's really on the hot seat, but I mean, he's been considered in that position before. Uh, we'll, we'll have to see what happens, but I think, honestly, Miami, they aren't too far down. It, this These stats make it look like LSU's a much better team, but really, I think it's I think it's going to be a close one. All right, so my prediction, I have Miami winning it. Halftime, it's going to be 7-7 to tied. Miami wins it 21-13. to I think it'll be a very, very close game, neck and neck the whole way. Um... I think it's going to be very low scoring first half. Miami will score a couple touchdowns, I think, in the third quarter, which will pull them away, and they'll finish off 21-13. to I think LSU is going to kind of struggle defensively, or sorry, struggle offensively in the second half. They're going to score two field goals. And so, yep, yeah, that's my prediction for this game. It's going to be a great one. Um, there are probably five games this weekend that I'm really looking forward to. That's four top 25 games and one other one. Um, that I'll be getting to later. I don't want to say it right now. Um, but yeah, so I've got Miami winning this game. What are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. I'll be releasing another preview. I think I'm going to do one more preview for this week individually. And then I'm going to be releasing my, uh, full predictions for every, for, yeah, just about every game this weekend. As you know, it is Wednesday, so we're coming close to Saturday. Tomorrow, a few games are debuting. I think there's one good one. UCF is playing, I do know, so that'll be interesting. But anyway, guys, that's it for me right now, and I'll see you all later.